right, welcome to Brothers Black Studio. I'm Al Black. Today I'm going to show you how I tune toms. All right, welcome everyone. So I'm going to show you how I tune toms. Uh, right now this top head is tuned up really high. Uh, if you saw the last lesson, you know that we took it up to about two and a half turns to seat the head. So now I'm just going to detune the whole thing and tune it back up to pitch going down a quarter turn at a time, right? Four, five, six. So I took the whole thing down a quarter turn. I'm gonna do that again. Two, three, four, five, six, and again. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Okay, I'm starting to, some of the lugs are getting really loose now. So I'm just going around, loosening them a little bit at a time. And what I don't want to do is dump all the tension off this head. So all these lugs, I get to the point where when I turn it this way, it's loose. See, and then I put a little tension on it. Okay? So there's pretty much a quarter turn on each one of these lugs right now. And what I'm going to do is go around and put a half turn on each lug. Okay, so now this, this head's pretty, pretty much flat. So I'll just start here. Okay, so that's loose, touching. Okay, let me show you what I mean. Okay, so see how that's, that lug is loose? Now it's touching, see right there? I can feel it start to hit. Now it's hit, now it's touching. Half a turn, all right? You can go across the other side if you want. So there's loose, there's touching, half a turn, okay? Some of these lugs are a little funky, so. Okay, so loose, touching, half a turn. Loose, touching, half a turn. Loose, touching, half a turn. So you might find some drums need more than half a turn. There's touching, half a turn. All right, so we've got a mallet so we can sort of test our tuning. I like it. Let's go to the bottom. Let's just make sure the bottom's good. So the bottom head I didn't leave seated overnight. These bottom heads have been on here for a while. It's in tune with itself, but look, I can do the same thing. Loosen, touching, half turn. Loosen, touching, half a turn. Loosen, right? Touching, half a turn. Loosen, touching, you get the idea. So that's where my heads are. That's where they like to be. So I'll go around this to be almost in tune, right? And you can hear this. If you fix the low one, if you're ever only going to be about a quarter turn out, right? So if you operate it quarter turns at a time, you'll never beat that part out of tune. Sounds good, right? All right, let's do the next one. All right, so this is what this sounds like right now, the 12-inch tom. I got the, the top heads really cranked up. The, the bottom heads where it needs to be. I'll tune it. I'll make sure it is after we do the top, okay? So let's detune the top. Here we go. One, half turn, half turn. That's six. One, two, three, four. So now we start to see we're almost at loose. See, there's loose, touching, half a turn. You can kind of start doing it already, right? Loose, touching, half a turn. Loose, touching, half a turn. You get the idea. So this is a really loose tuning, all right? You can do this whole process with three quarters of a turn, full, full turn, depends on how high pitched you want your drum, right? Um, having half a turn on bottom and top gives you a pretty close approximation of the note, right? You'll find that'll be close, right? Boom, boom, right? They're off a little bit, which is okay, because if your toms are tuned to the same, if your heads are tuned to the same pitch, boom, your tom rings forever, okay? You hear the bottom head first. So if your bottom head is pitched up higher than your top head, you hear boom, right? Boom. If it's 
pitched way further than the top head, you get, Ow! right? You don't want that sound. So you want them close to the same pitch. If you pitch that bottom head down a little bit, you get boom, right? Because you hear the bottom head first after you hit it. Bang, it goes boom, then the top head will ring. So if they hit the same note, boom, they resonate forever, right? If, it's, if the bottom note is higher, it goes boom, right? If the bottom note is lower, it goes boom. Both of those will kill the resonance a little bit so that your, your drum doesn't ring forever, right? So this one, this is whack, right? Because the top head's way out. That's what a poorly tuned, poorly tuned drum would sound like. Hey man, can you help me tune my toms? Sure, buddy. Half a turn, half a turn, right? Loose, tighten, loose, tighten, loose, tighten, loose, half a turn, half a turn. So where are we here? Right, let's try the bottom. Bottom's close. These bottom heads have been on here for a while. You can see there's tap marks. I've obviously tuned them a few times. So loose, but some of them might be loose because I haven't checked them in a while. So shh, don't tell anyone. Half turn, okay, loose. Touching, you see what I'm doing there, right? Touching, half turn. You see, you see this method. It works for all toms. It works for, it even works for kick drums. Half turn, touching. And then once you get it close, you can fine tune. You can move things up a quarter turn. You can move them down a quarter turn. You can mess with it. Okay, so loose. See how that's loose? I spin this. I can feel it engage. You can see the rim grab. See that? So then I just put a half turn from there. Next one. See, see it grab? Half turn. Next one. Half turn. If you find that it doesn't sound good the first time you go around and do it, just go around and do it again. Don't start spending time tweaking and banging, banging all over the place. Just redo it. Right? This one seems a little low, right? We'll put a quarter turn and see what happens. Okay, so what are we hearing here? Boom, boom. So this one, it almost seems. Boom. Pretty close, you know? Lots of overtones happening with drums, so it's never a pure note. Especially if your shell's not round. I feel like if I brought this, if I brought the bottom head up, mm, I don't know about that lug. What about that lug? One offensive lug. All right, let's go for the third one. All right, 13 inch tom, detune the top. And if they're not perfect, don't worry about it. You're gonna tune them again tomorrow, right? You're always tuning with this method. You just go and grab every lug you see, 
go loose and put a half turn on it or a three quarters of a turn, I do find the bigger the drum, right? So my kick drum will, and my floor tom, I like to go actually three quarters of a turn from touching. So you notice this, there's no finger tight method at all in this, right? If you saw my, if you saw the video the other day about how I put a head on, okay, that's loose, loose. I don't mess with that finger tight method because what I find that does is you could easily put an extra turn over here, an extra three quarters of a turn, an extra few turns. You just don't know where you're at. And then you have a whole bunch of tuning to do. This might have to be loosened. This might have to be tightened, right? With my method, the drum is never going to be more than a quarter turn out at any lug, right? Now, if you've got older drums that are out around and your rims are a little bent, you're going to find those types of drums are hard to get into tune no matter what method you use. So you have to fight them a little more. If you're using DW drums, that thread gauge is narrower, right? So it's going to take more turns to get down to the same tension. I've tried a bunch of different tuning devices, right? I've tried the, uh, the drum dial, the torque keys, all the kind of different things, all the weird methods and stuff. This is the method I came up with. The tune bot is killer, all right? If you can get a tune bot, get one of those, because you just clip it on the rim, then you test all the lugs, and it'll tell you the tension at each lug, even the note at each lug. So it really, it can help you dial your drums right up, and then it can help you dial up what you're hearing, right? Use your tune bot to reinforce what you're hearing when you're tuning. Ears first. Touching, half a turn. Touching, half a turn. Touching, half a turn. Turn. Half a turn. But we like three quarters of a turn, right? So I'll put the I'll put another quarter turn on each lug. Tune the bottom head, see what's going on here. All right. Oh, yeah, see that one just hanging on. Half turn. So if we got a three quarters of a turn on the top one, you want to do the same on the bottom. That'll keep them close, right? Sometimes I'll just go around a few times without checking just to just to equalize the whole drum. Make sure that it's all it all is where So this bottom head might be a, a little high now. I might have we might be going crazy here. Stripes. All right, 16 inch floor tom. Let's bring all these lugs up to three quarters of a turn and see where we're at there. Touching, three quarters of a turn. Touching, three quarters of a turn. Touching, three quarters of a turn. See, loose, touching, three quarters of a turn. Loose. Right, loose, touching, three quarters of a turn. Uh, so again, that should get us ballpark. We should be within a quarter turn on any lug, really. Check the bottom. Oh, 
it's going to be a cannon. So three quarters of the turn on the bottom. So I've been toying with putting a coated a coated drum head on the bottom of this floor tom because it, it is it can be really loud this one it works in here I last time I took it to the show though man it was overdriving the whole stage <laughs> it's just crazy bring this maybe we'll throw the we'll just throw the tune bot on here and see what's going on um, just to see what's happening just for fun 168 169 241 168 so something funny going on with these two I need to come up. Maybe just go down. You need to dump it and see, right? Go to go to reset it to three quarters. Tone, but but I like it. Almost eh? You can hear the shell bounds a bit loud, so I'll put some floor tom legs on that. It's gonna sound great. All right, there you go. That's how I tune drums. Uh, it's kind of a funny method. I devised it myself over years and years of just sucking at tuning drums. <laughs> And uh, I never could figure out the finger tight thing. It always, I would be thrown off. I didn't know where my drum was at. This method, I like it. I know where my drum's at. If, it's, if I have a problem, I just do it again, right? It's not that big a deal. If you saw the video on how I seat the drums, um, check that out. That's pretty important. Once the head's seated, you can mess around with it quite a bit. If you want to tune jazz drums or something, you could take this drum and tune the whole thing up an extra quarter turn. Why don't we do that? So let's come up another quarter turn on each lug, top and bottom. Just to show you that you don't just have to have these detuned toms, you know. It doesn't have to be tuned so super flat. It works as a jazz method too. Now it's three quarters of a turn. You can keep going up, bang, 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 right? That's just not where I like it. I like it down at a half a turn. Pinstripes sound so awesome, eh? They're like, doom. All right, let's put these on a kit and see what it sounds like. Have some fun. So we do got the shotgun mic on. I'm going to turn that off. Essentially, we're just dealing with these two overhead mics. Whoa. Yeah. So you're smacky. So this is a little more fine tuning, right? All right, let's get some moon gels on here. This one doesn't sound like it needs it, right? That 10 inch doesn't need a moon gel. 12 inch. Let's try a moon gel here. Right? Be 
rings a little bit longer than the other one. We could try two. Get a little closer to the rim. Right, so you can hear it. Let me turn, let me turn the snares off. So you can hear all those overtones and stuff. So you find a moon gel to knock those overtones down. I like moon gels because you can take them on and off really easily. They're pretty when they're new. You can wash them and they'll work for a while. All right, no moon gels. One moon gel. Here's still got some of those overtones. Two moon gels. Liked it better over here. Three moon gels on the floor. Let's try it. That's how you tune toms. Come on, could you have any more fun? Awesome. Okay, thanks everyone. This has been How to Tune Toms. We'll see you next time.